What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. It's so exciting to have you in the studio today. We have both kilns are completely full of finished pots and we are like in crank out mode right now. Christmas is coming, which means that we are making as many pots as possible before Christmas, before the end of the year. All the pots that are in these two kilns that you guys see me unload today are gonna be in the restock that's on Black Friday at noon. So that will be one of our last two restocks before the end of the year, which, so if you wanna get any pots for Christmas, go ahead and head there. The other thing, we did a live Zoom workshop this last weekend about glazing, all about how to make commercial glazes your own. So if you're interested in that, you can get the workshop on the, it's with the Potter's class is how we did it. And so there's a link in the description of this video if you guys wanna go check out that workshop. It's like a two hour workshop, all about how I think about glazing, everything from glazing basics to how to get the layered combos to slow cooling schedules to a lot of the stuff that I talk about kind of just in passing on my YouTube channel, uh, we go like in depth into that. So check it out if you wanna go over there. Okay, now to this kiln, let's unload this guy. Let's do this one first. So this one was to cone seven and it was a slow cool and I already saw some pretty sweet results. This is a new combo that I had never done before. Isn't that amazing? So this is like a really matte on top and then it goes to gloss and then there's this hard line that has a really cool texture. To me, it looks almost like a landscape. So never done that before. Norse blue on the bottom, Aurora green and sandstone on the top in a slow cool. Yeah, those are, those are something else. Those are pretty special. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Other stuff that is in here, these were refired. So this is Midnight Rain over Winterwood. Had a few pinholes the first go around. These are also refired. So these are all, this has copper wash uh, and then sandstone on top. And those turned out really cool. Certainly got rid of all the pinholes. That slow cool schedule really is a pinhole annihilator. Usually gets rid of them pretty easily. I suppose not all everything in here will go on Etsy. I think some of this stuff is gonna go to Mocha Monkey too. So this is what the Aurora Green over sandstone looks like when it's slow cooled. It's one of my faves, super cool, really cool. Yep, so that's Aurora Green over sandstone too. In with a little carving action. Here, this was a tester and I doubt you're gonna be able to see it, but it's copper ore over glossy black and it's really cool, but you can't even really see it probably, but it has these like speckles in here. And then one of my all time fave combos is this copper ore over sandstone drip. And then when you slow cool it, it just really smooths it out. So it's got such a nice feel. Those are awesome. Also in that vein, oh, there's two different ones. So there's another one of those. But then I have the copper ore over winter wood, which also turned out really nice, really nicely. Then there's a few cop, so here's the different, here's two different ones. So this is copper ore over winter wood. This one has carvings in it, so it's kind of textured. So you can see the drips and the runs just follow along where I carve that out. Cool, love that. Anytime you get dripping down to the bottom and not off, feels so good. I'm so thankful for that. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. I hope you guys are able to uh, celebrate in a way that makes you happy. Really quite amazing. I love them. Cool. Winter copper ore over winter wood. I like that handle too. What do you guys think? Normally my handles are all like, kind of like this. That's where my normal handle looks like, where it just kind of grows out of the mug and is a nice aesthetic addition. But this one is like more of a whole handle one. And I kind of like it too, especially with the shorter like square mugs. I think it fits nicely. All right, here is some more Minnesota mug with midnight rain over winter wood. This was a little, a little new tester. So this is Norse blue and Aurora green and sandstone, I believe. Very interesting. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it, but that other one, those other ones turned out amazing. Interesting, interesting. Ooh, nice. So this, this is Midnight Rain over Winterwood, but it's slow cooled and it's got the crystals loaded on there. So that, so you can see the micro crystal growth in there. It's a little more than normal. Super cool. Love that. And it 
comes right to the bottom and doesn't drip off. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Gorgeous. Those are special. That's really something special. See, I'll tell you, like these guys, mm, they're, they're okay. Probably someone will love them. I don't love them that much, but like these are, whoa, really, really cool. So this is a Aurora Green and Norse Blue over Sandstone. Slow cooled, which this one, I actually like this. I think I like this combo better. Not slow cooled. It's okay. It's kind of cool, but it's not my fave. I think actually I could try, I might try slow. I might try firing one of these again and doing it in a not slow, slow cool because I think it might turn out better actually. This glaze is like the same as this glaze. This glaze is slow cooled and this glaze is not. So this is an example of one where I think that the non-slow cooled is quite a bit better than the slow cooled. I mean, it, I mean, they're both cool, but I just like this better, like the blues and the purples. And, the... and then here's a couple more of that copper wash. That was a second firing of those. And then here, this was the bowl. So we glazed this bowl in that workshop, in the Zoom workshop that we did with the potters class. This is that bowl. So if you were in there, so, or you can go take that workshop and you'll see me how I glaze this bowl. It's fairly complicated. It's Aurora Green over Sandstone and Norse Blue, but it's applied in different layers. And then I also used fluxes. So like the light and dark flux. That's uh, quite remarkable. Pretty cool, huh? That's a gift for somebody. And then here is some other Midnight Rain over Winter Wood, which those turned out all really, really good. All right, and that was the first kiln. All right, now to the second kiln. Okay, so right on top we have these plates, which these plates were for a wedding present for someone. I'm finally getting them done. They're pretty nice. They wanted more of a neutral color. It's kind of got a little bit of my Northern Lights flare on the edges with buttercream in the middle. Oh, wow. Okay, so this was a total tester. So this is Aurora Green on top of Northern or of Lavender Mist. What do you think of that? That's a new guy for me. It's kind of interesting. Hot, hoot, heat. There is Northern Lights, but it's a new, it's a little bit new Northern Lights because I don't think that the buttercream is quite as thick as it was. Must be the buttercream, right? Or I didn't, I got a little scared because I, I mixed up new buttercream that I hadn't tested out yet. So whenever that happens, I whenever I'm unsure of the how the glazes are gonna react, I always get a little tentative. Looks a little different. The Northern Lights might look a little different for a while until I get it right in the exact, all the glazes right in the thickness that I want. Oh, these are, this is kinda cool. Ooh, that buttercream. So this is the Northern Lights, but instead of the black being the main glaze, the buttercream I did with them as the main glaze. I wonder if I need to sieve the buttercream. It's kind of interesting. What do you think of that? It's kind of cool. Kind of like it. A little different. So see now I know for the next time I do Northern Lights, I can go, I can layer it a little further down than I had on this one. This is a uh, winter wood with copper ore over top with this texture. And then, ooh, that's cool. So this is a, Canyon Skies, or or it might even just be buttercream over Albany Brown, but that turned out really nice. Like that a lot. Here's one, here's like a cool textured mug. Like that, that's cool. Ooh, that's cool too. Satin Patina over Winter Wood. Wow, that one's like a sweet one. Like that. Got a few more of these t like carved, Canyon skies, those are cool. Wow, wow, wow. So far this stuff is really coming out good. Really coming out good. And then here's some faceted. That was a little bit more intensive of faceting than I do usually. I used a better carving tool from Diamond Core Tools. And there's the last one of that. Oh, there you go. There's another plate, a little plate action. Check that out. Ooh, that's sweet. Look at that. Holy, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Look at this thing. Have you ever seen such a thing from me? That's black mud crack 
over bright red gloss. Kind of interesting, huh? What do you think of that? It's just a tester of Peacock. That's a glaze that I don't use very often. All right, there's another Northern Lights. Like the Northern Lights before I mixed up the new green and the new buttercream were looking like this, which obviously that was getting a little too thick and it was dripping off. But this is, actually this will probably be perfect if I just layer it a little bit more. But that just goes to show you the variety of different th ways things can look just based on how thick or thin the glazes are that you're using. Couple refires in the copper ore. Hot, 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 hot. Ooh, there's the Northern Lights with red. Didn't quite drip as much as it has in the past, but you really can see a lot of that red in there. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. A lot of black in there. So that'll be a little different for this restock is my Northern Lights combos won't drip like as far as they normally do. You're kind of getting more of the black, which maybe some people will like that. I don't know. Nice. That's actually really nice in there. Cool. Well, that makes me happy. Wow. That black is actually really, really nice black too. Here's some more drippy, drippy carved mugs. I hope those are popular. I have a bunch of them. I think, I think they will be. I think they're really cool. Wow. All right, and then the last, whoa, whoa. So these were refired, which they ended up looking really cool. This one was refired, I don't know if all of them are. But that's beautiful. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. All right, these are the last two. And these must have been, I must have just, oh yeah, these I actually did glaze. I glazed these for the workshop, the uh, Zoom workshop. So if you want to see how these are glazed, you can find out there. I mean, I'll tell you here, it's raspberry mist and lavender mist over winterwood, but. Okay, so total in those two kilns together was 67 pots. I gotta get a pen, which brings our total for the month to 262, which means it's not gonna, I gotta really crank it out to get to be a very good month for me. And then the total for the year, 3,265. So I think, I don't think we're gonna get to 4,000 for the year, but I think best case scenario, we could get to probably like 3,500. It's gonna be 2020, which that's a lot of pots. That is a lot of pots. That is it for these kilns. I would so appreciate if you wanted to check out anything on Friday, November 27th at noon central time. That would be the next time you could buy any of my pottery as well as check out the live Zoom workshop, as well as, you know, just subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things. I hope you are doing wonderfully, and I will see you guys in the next video.